we're live on Instagram and live on for my YouTube followers. My name is Rick Noda. I'm here in beautiful Encinitas, California, your host for T3 Talks and your founder of T3 Body, where we tighten, tone, and transition. Just some of the busy work. If you go ahead and like this video, go, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button there for me. And again, and always give me that thumbs up, um, all my YouTubers out there. Other thing is, go ahead and leave your comments of how we can make this uh, podcast a little bit better. Topics that you want to talk about. Me and Esteban, when it talks about health and wellness and leadership, we're always uh, looking for topics. And your input is why we put this together, you guys. Because you remember, you know, uh, we do always inspire to get, uh, to get a little bit better. A little, a little bit more house cleaning is we have potato chip mountain. Now you, you, we interviewed him yesterday, and I gotta tell you, he was talking some mad junk to that real world, which is me. Don't let me beat you. You know, potato chip was talking about you know don't come unprepared. You know, make sure you're you're ready for it. What we've done is we have established two groups here, you guys. Everybody's invited. If you want to come out there, you'll look for my car. You'll see my car. It says, Our Motivation Inspires You to Be Better. I've got an Instagram, T3 Body Encinitas on the side, and I'm right in a Lake Poway's parking lot. You pay 10 bucks, you go in there. The first group will arrive at around 6 a.m. and will leave at around and precisely at 6.30 because that first group is a splash and go. They, they're already, already prepared. They're going to go up. Most of the people in that group are going to go up, go back down, take in a little bit of food, regroup. The 8 o'clock would have arrived by then, and then myself and some of my other uh, wellness coordinators are going to then put a little bit more uh, weight on ourselves, and then we're going to go up nice and easy. So wherever those athletes want to turn around, we come back. So it's for all levels. All individuals want to come. I think I may even take my dog again because my wife is said she loved taking the dog boots. She's our mascot. She enjoys that. Now, today's topic, again, is we're building on what I like to say is the journey here where we tighten, tone, and transition. Now, some of the exercises that we do here when we're working out and tightening up the body, you guys, and today is Wednesdays here at T3 Body. And in Wednesdays, we do station work and interval work. But you guys... If we don't connect the two things or three things that what your coach or the scientist is trying to build, I create three phases. It's the durability phase, the capability phase, leading into the final, the agility phase. So durability is all about establishing the baselines. Capability is about establishing complexity off of that baseline agility is about putting it all together so today when we were doing our intervals we were doing our intervals for 30 seconds at a time but where does it transition into life here's the difference in our studio we have things are very close to together just like in your life so in a picture where like for example i have a, a, a punching bag that right next to it, I create a, a self wall. That's exactly like being in a cubicle, all like crunched in. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie Office Space where the guy's like, okay, I'll just stay here. We're going to need to go ahead and move you downstairs into storage B. No, we, I, I, uh, told I could have not. some new people coming yep. in and nope. we need all the there's, space we can get. But there's no space. So if you could in, just go ahead and you pack up your it, stuff. But that's how we feel sometimes in our desk. So I'm transitioning how to do very quick exercises right next to your desk, right next to your bed, right next to your workstation. If you're in a warehouse of 10,000 square feet and the ceilings are How is that really to what life is? When I lived in Chicago, when I've been to Japan, Thailand, Korea, hey, excuse me, excuse me, can I move, can I move? So if we train in environments that allow for huge amounts of space, are we really using or transitioning into real life. That's why I, I think it's incredible here, you guys, that when I talk to uh, my future athletes, those who individuals who are using my Instagram and following, today is day 100. Day 100 that I've put on that Instagram 
about a workout that you can do. So those of you who are following on YouTube and, and Instagram, go ahead and take advantage of that. The other thing that's kind of nice is that transition is those of you at home are buying my training plans and showing the minimalist mentality. We could do a lot less with less and then even less and then even less because what we're showing is the motivation you need is just to start inspires you to be better by organizing your life by the seven p's proper plier planning prevents piss poor performance and we train smart specific measurable achievable realistic targets and you have a coach that can articulate what we're doing and how it transitions into your life if you're a tennis player football player or you just go on hikes guess what by using your interval training to look at how you're changing in levels allows for those activities to, to be even more fun because you can also change the intensity. You can increase the duration because you don't do those as frequently. You're not going up potato chip mountain. We only do it every five weeks. So that is your test, your goal set to figure out if what you're doing is transitioning into your daily life. Now, I'm going to leave you with one a last story, you guys. I'm at, almost at the mark here. I remember doing Potato Chip Mountain, you guys, years and years ago when I would come here and I would train. So, literally, I lived in Oceanside, California, and there's a way that you can actually ride your bike very long and hilly. I didn't know, really, honestly, how hilly California really was. I was just in, an, in awe. I, just, I, I, was, I was just so an uh, Illinois, Chicago guy. So I mapped out from my house in Oceanside how to get to uh, Poway to, you know, to Potato Chip Mountain. You guys, I rode there. My wife was waiting for me. We, I got there. If I told you I put up my bike and rode up Potato Chip Mountain, I would only be telling you a half truth. I got there, salt on my face. I literally looked like I, like death man walking. My eyes were all sunken in, and I had stopped at a 7-Eleven twice. All right, just you guys, twice. I got to Potato Chip. My bike was, if you guys know, when it makes this sound, it's going, it just, you have no power. I go go to my wife and my kids, and they and my kids were younger at the time. One of them was in a carriage. The other one uh, was probably about five or six, Michaela. I go to my wife. I go, this is the uh, this is the great thing about having kids this age. They have no idea that I just literally, oof, failed had no gas now most of you would say dude you, you rode like 60 80 miles to get to Poway but in my mind I didn't train smart there I didn't take enough food I didn't I, I was unrealistic with my target to think at, at that time it was just early in the season that I could ride 60 miles and then go up Mount Winston and up and down so again I learned so much from failing and and you guys that is it is something that I have to thank um, a, 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 an athlete I trained years and years ago named Brady. Brady told me, he goes, dude, you ain't got to worry about it. You do everything right. <laughs> Not really, you guys. Again, I say it all the time. I, I fail and I have failing more times than not. The other thing is, you know, and I think it's kind of funny, you guys. As a minimalist, you know, I, I, there's that saying that, that goes out there, you guys. You know, it's not the size of the instrument. It's how you use it. As, as always, it's the heartbeat, panic and coffee. Our motivation will inspire you to be better. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Rick Noda, host here at T3 Body, where we tighten tone and transition. To get a hold of me, check me out at info at t3bodyensinitas.com or on our social networks, Instagram at t3bodyensinitas, Facebook, we're still under that CaliFit WKO, that's our non-for-profit, and check us out and subscribe on our YouTube channel where at we are T3 Talks, where our motivation inspires you to be better. See you at my next podcast.